All right, so this is a video about how I passed my CompTIA pen test plus. You can see I have the cert right here, pen test, and you can see I got it on November 11th. If I verify, it's gonna show all the details. <clears throat> All right, so first thing first, how long I studied, you can see that I took the actual test on November 11, but like I said, I always write when I start a book. So let's see the date I started. Uh, 3rd July 2023, so July, August, September, October, full four months. I took my time. Normally, uh, my time frame is uh, for shorter cert, two months, a bit technical, three months. The reason is I go through the book, practice question and then hands-on I do not attempt any technical cert without doing hands-on labs uh, if there are labs available I do that uh, like I go through them if there are none I create my own labs um, virtual machines and like I like to play learn exactly find those settings or what they're talking about and then move on uh, <clears throat> so I did read this book cover to cover it's pretty good you can see not much pictures there a lot of theory uh, what I do is uh, I go through the book then the practice question whatever they have given so for this one Pearson ID certification they all oh, okay I need <clears throat> yeah right there so they give you access code they can go online and check that out all right, sorry. So I went, once I saw that flap, this uh, this one, so I remember that I uh, had gone through those exams as well because I bought the premium edition, uh, the ebook with question, exam question, and I uh, went through them as well. So here is how what I did. I went through first this, reading this book, uh, cover to cover. That's what I always do with any book. Then I went through the exam question that I opened the site here. Let's see what uh, uh, what I did. You see, I can I had both the book. It's irrelevant. The uh, this is the thing. Uh, practice test. I spent like another maybe twenty bucks to get this one. If I click on my history, it should show grade history. You can see sixty one person not doing very good. Uh, I went to one two three. So in 10 uh, questions, sorry, in 10 uh, uh, sets, I went through all of the questions. This is my score. Uh, I want to see the actual exams, like how many questions were there. Yeah, so what I like to do is go through them. Uh, <coughs> one chapter or one set at a time so for example i will check uncheck everything and just select one and go through those questions so the total question were let's see i believe they were like close to 300 but you get the picture so i went through them and if i go to my history i was not doing very good i believe so this was my score 595 750 was the passing so i was 150 shy next thing what i did was that really helped then i went because i am through wgu so i had the uh, wgu uh, online library through that i had access to cybex test uh, <coughs> engine so i went to my cybex account if i can show you uh, it should be somewhere pen test practice test so with them i believe they had the older old book I had to go through that go to the test bank I registered that on September 3rd if you missed that September 3rd is when I uh, so from July all July I read the book and and probably did these while I was doing this I did something else so maybe that's why these questions uh, I did not get into this until September but <clears throat> let's go to the test bank and then see what I was doing so our uh, average on average I was going at 71 percent if you go to quiz, quiz builder we can see the we had 1000 question available on in this bank and if I can show you the metrics 
I was doing pretty okay. Uh, I like cybersecurity, so I pay like that's what where my mind is most active. You saw what I was doing with AWS, uh, only because the questions like it they they're so boring. They're not uh, as active as when you are actually doing and building those solutions. That's so fun in cloud those uh, creating those uh, solutions machines uh, vpc and uh, configuring different services is so much fun but the question yeah they are extremely boring i think they should change it that uh, they should just give you a scenario and you deploy that or it's already deployed and you make the uh, changes that are required to make it work i think that that will be the hands down best exam for AWS but anyways this is what I was doing but the, this is not how, how I did uh, um, I went to try hack me I read that in I don't know if it was I think it was the uh, in my instructor email for the class instructor he sent an email and there was different resources listed <clears throat> one of this was it so i did spend money i got the try hack me for the whole year i paid for it and went through the uh this comptia pen test plus um, um, path so with this path i went through all of these modules you can see it didn't go with government recommendation because there is nothing uh if i can show you there's nothing technical it's just like theory and answering so maybe i skipped it but let's look at the tools i did all of the tools you can see everything is blue information gathering everything is blue uh overall i did 71 percent progress in the path and the really in interesting stuff i left out but i did get OWASP and everything like uh, uh i really did sit every day for a few hours and went through these labs and that's how when um, I just keep doing it every day uh, and uh, side by side with study uh, practice tests and some labs but like for every CompTIA test what I like to do and I will strongly recommend is I take uh, uh, where is the guy his name Jason Leon I want to show you I buy his uh, practice exam you can see I attempted four I the reason I did not attempt you normally four is the maximum I do attempt um, I don't go through all six uh, the reason I start at four is because my threshold for Jason Dion if I'm getting 70% there I take the test but I was taking 82% uh, here it is 75 another 84 and that gave me the confidence that I needed uh, to go and take the test and I passed so this is the final one that I take and if I'm doing 70% here I just go and take the test so this is how I pass CompTIA test I will strongly recommend to go through try hack me if you can if you can spend that money spend it it's uh, uh, like hands-on is the best hands-on uh, basically theory you can miss it uh, maybe somebody has uh, super memory I don't I like the hands-on uh, when I do hands-on I, I retain it and I remember it and that's why I make like sometime my study videos in the beginning because I read it and then I forget it so I said okay I need to go and do it hands-on I will suggest you do the same so this uh, method it took me four months maybe more uh, like a week or more but that's how I studied and passed my pen test hopefully this will help somebody else to actually oops, yeah pass that so I did get this book uh, Omar Santos if you want to try the Cybex, Cybex I did not want to try because let, let's not talk about it. I just wanted to, to, to steer away from Cybex and get this book. Hope so. Hopefully, good luck with your exam, and I will see you in the next one.